All right, guys, at this point, we've done quite a bit of this. And so what I want to do is just kind of talk us through writing an, an, a linear equation in any form, okay, going through a specific set of points. Now, I'm going to do as many as I can in the next five minutes. Okay, so let's write down the three forms that we're, we're familiar with first. We've got slope-intercept, which is y equals mx plus b. We've got point-slope, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And then we've got, of course, standard form, which is ax plus b at by equals c, where a has to be a whole number and b has to be an integer. Okay, now from this point, we're going to just do whatever we can. We'll notice that the two forms that we're most familiar with, slope, intercept, and point slope, both require us to get a slope. So that's probably the first thing we're going to do in any situation is find the slope if it's not given to us. So I know that I get slope from y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so from this, I know I need two points. Here's one, so this will be my x1 and my y1. Now I'm going to need a second point. The other piece of information is, that's given to me is that I have an x-intercept of 2. So if the x-intercept is 2, that means that the y value is, that's right, 0. The y value should always be 0 when you're getting your x-intercept. Okay, we learned that back in the last unit. So now we have a second point, so that's going to be my x2 and y2. And so now I can just go 0 minus 4 over 2 minus 3. Now, yes, you can have done that in the other order. You can make this your second point and this your first one, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So that will give me negative 4 over 2 minus 3, which would be negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and reduce that, which will give me a slope of 4. So now I can go ahead and put that into any equation. Let's start with slope-intercept. So y equals 4x plus b. Now, of course, in order to get b, I need to find the y-intercept. So I can take either of my two points, it doesn't matter which one, and plug it in for x and y because those are solutions. They work in the equation. So I'm going to take the easier of the two, the 2 comma 0. So 0 equals 4 times 2 plus b, my x value and my y value. So 0 equals 8 plus b. I'll subtract the 8, and I get negative 8 equals b. So I can write slope-intercept form as y equals 4x plus b, but b is minus 8. So there we go. We have written an equation in any form. So this is the equation in slope-intercept form. But let's go ahead and see what would happen if we wrote it in the other form. So let's do point-slope now. So let's go, uh, maybe we'll change colors just so that we can differentiate here. So we'll go y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, this being point slope. So I'm going to go y minus either of my points. doesn't matter which one. Again, I'm going to choose the easier of the two. So y minus 0 equals the slope, which I found before, times x minus x1, which was uh, x was 2 for the point of 0, so x minus 2. So that is my equation in point-slope form. So I've now accomplished slope-intercept. I've accomplished point-slope. Keep in mind that you don't need both of these for this statement, right? For this statement, it just says write an equation. Either of these would be fine. But since we've got time, let's go ahead and do one more. Let's change our color again. Let's go green, and let's do standard form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my point slope form, or you can do it with this slope intercept form, and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to rearrange it. So I'm going to simplify first. y minus 0 is y. Then I'm going to distribute the 4. y equals 4x minus 8. Oh my goodness, that looks exactly like the one before. Well, that's perfect. That means I did it right. Okay, so now I'm going to finish rearranging. To get it into standard form, I need to get the x and y on the same side. So let's subtract the 4x. So I've got negative 4x plus y equals negative 8. And so I can't have a negative. It has to be a whole number. So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. So that will give me a positive 4x minus y plus 8. And there is standard form. So there we've accomplished this three different ways. We did slope-intercept. We did point slope and check the slope intercept, and we did standard form. Congratulations. Ta-da!